Well, we did the test on it. Not that happy. It leaves quite a quite a snipe at the beginning and at the end, which isn't good. Now, that's that's a tough problem. And what I'm suspecting is that a lot of times I know that when I've changed the cutter heads before, not on this particular model, but others, it's usually a little smaller in diameter than what the original cutter head was. So that means that the rollers are out. Now there's no adjustment on these. I was hoping I'd get through this project without having to think, but I'm going to have to turn the switch on and uh, come up with a plan. But I'll figure it out and when I do I'll get right back to you here. the way that uh, this is cutting now. So I know what happened. <clears throat> My last video where I changed the cutter head in this, you, uh, you ended it early and you didn't see how it ended. Well I wasn't too happy with the fact that I was getting some snipe with it. And on this particular model that's, that's not a good thing because there's no adjustment for your rollers and there's no lockdown. Uh, to lock the, the uh, machine in position. So I had to come up with a solution. And I think I've got it fixed. So watch the video and I'll show you what I did to uh, rectify the problem. And I'm happy. Now should you cut, change your cutter head? I think if you use your planer a lot, I'm happy the way that this is cutting. I think it's quite a bit better. If you use your planer a lot, I think it's a good to go. So enjoy the video and hopefully that's going to help solve some of your problems. what I came up with. It's just a little piece of uh, eighth inch flat bar and I tapped it out so I've got a set screw here. <clears throat> Basically there's just a little thin clip that holds the roller up right now and all I'm doing is building this to go over top and then I'm able to adjust the uh, roller with this to bring the roller up. Can't bring the roller down but you can go up with it. So these are spring loaded here so what you do is just take a block of wood, stick it underneath your rollers and then just bring it down until the rollers hit the, uh, oh, the until they hit the block of wood. Then you just take a little bit of pressure off it, not very much. There. Now you can undo that little clip and put this on. You're going to need a long shafted screwdriver, a Phillips, and there's a slot on the bottom here. And there's a little plate, you have to take that off first, but there's a little slot and you're able to get in and change them out. So, I'm going to get a little closer and I'll show you what I'm doing and I'm also going to give you the dimensions for this little guy. Now what I'm really hoping is 8th inch is going to be enough. I'll monitor them. If they bend a little bit then I'll have to build something out of 3 16 but we're just seeing if it works. Okay so now these bolts here machine screws, if you, whatever you want to call them. Um, I did buy 
little longer ones because of course now we've added an eighth of an inch. So basically this piece here is just going right over top of everything that's there. All you do is undo the two screws, put the piece, your piece on, screw it back in, and then you can adjust the uh, height of the roller with your set screw. Just like that. Let's see if this other side's all tight now. Yeah. Okay. We'll do the other side and we'll uh, set the rollers. It's a little guard that fits in underneath here. Like that. Now, because we've got uh, some new hardware in there. We're going to have to just take about, oh, maybe an eighth of an inch off of here, up to this little line that I marked. So we'll do that with the grinder. So I raised up the, the rollers on both sides. Now, it's kind of a trial thing. You've got to raise them up, run something through, and if it looks better, raise it up a little bit more. I just use a block of wood. You want something fairly straight and I'll just bring it down until I feel the block on the uh, roller just so I can just slide it underneath it back to this side and I've got both set so that they're nice and even feels pretty good okay we'll run a piece of wood through there now I did a little screwing around on it so I had it working not bad. I had to do a little bit more adjusting. We'll see how it works now. Find some earmuffs. Pretty darn good. Now, with this model here, and this is the DW735, there's no lockdown. So you can't expect to have perfection with a, with a planter that doesn't lock in position. And there's just a very, very slight little bit of snipe. I might just try and adjust it a little bit more and see where we're at. But for the most part, you'd sand that out. That's pretty good. That is definitely better than where we started. I got her now, so there's no snipe at all. I think that looks awesome. So, just I've got my back roller a little bit lower than the, the front one, of course, because you're taking off a little bit of material. But just mess around a little bit. You got to get those rollers fairly close to the uh, uh, cutter edge. I think it works fine. So we took a planer that really sniped and and uh, it worked well but with that new cutter head it really does cut nice and I think the sound has been reduced a little bit it's hard to tell with the earmuffs on but one thing that you have to have to do and that is wax this bed if it's tight and you're having trouble getting your wood through all you have to do is clean that off. If there's any pitch or anything like that, use a lacquer or a acetone, clean it off, and then give it a little shot of wax. Now, what I use, now I've tried a bunch of different sprays. All I do is just use a paste wax. I happen to be using this min wax. Just put a light, thin coat on there, and everything will work way better. Use that for table saws, use it for everything. All right. I'm going to zoom in, 
give you some dimensions of the little thing I built and we're going to call this project done. I'm happy. I'm happy now. Okay, here's my little cartoon. Now, you have to cut this. I just used a grinder. I showed you seen that in, while I was building this. And there's a little on the bottom here. I don't know why they put this little, I guess for strength. They dropped it a little bit, so you have to cut a bit of a groove in there to uh, um, accommodate for that. And it just comes up about a quarter of an inch. Some eighth inch, one and three quarters. Uh, top hole, just a quarter inch from the top. These ones are about three sixteenths. And then make sure that you just center them so that they're one and five sixteenths apart from center to center. Tap this out, just use a 1364 drill bit for everything. Tap this out with quarter inch national course. Put a jam nut on there. You're good to go. So you can see how it goes on here. You got your one roller here, your cutter head. If this is the first one, you want to have it oh, a few thousandths below your, your uh, cutting edge. And then this one here, you'd be a little bit lower. That's all I did. Well, that's a lot. So, I hope this helps you out. I give the, uh, the new cutter head a thumbs up.